Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the H1 vlog. And today I've got kind of an interesting vlog. Come along. All right, guys, like I said, welcome back to the H1 vlogs. And today I'm going to try two things. One, I'm going to unbox this new Belkin Apple charger or not charger it's an l a belkin phone mount for your car so it goes into your vents all right let's open this up and i'm also going to be going to an apple store to pick up a new ipad that i bought that i'll also be unboxing in today's vlog pretty pretty apple filled vlog if you ask me but let's get to the opening of this bad boy i was gonna make a whole separate video on it but at the end of the day i was like you know what it's a car mount maybe i'll just tag my video with it and we'll see what's up i'll probably make this into like a thumbnail here's the unboxing experience in my car i thought it's appropriate you know get the car mount you ready it is just a mount for your car so apple doesn't make this it, ma it is made by belkin and it was announced when the iphone 12 and 12 pro were announced way back in september so yeah we're october uh but yeah here are the instructions it's basically just Put vent into car mount. Pretty simple. So I have slanted vents and they're slanted the other way. They go like this way. Well, I'll see how that works. Let's just kind of jam it in, jam it in there. So there's some cable management around here. So if you look here, right on where this circle is, that's gonna be your cable management. Okay. So if you have like a wire, you can stick a wire around there and then plug your phone into charge because this does not charge your phone. This is literally just to mount your phone with the new like MagSafe stuff. Finding the uh, most optimal spot to mount my phone. So check it out. So here is where I have it mounted, just into the vents. Pretty simple. And then all you gotta do is get your iPhone 12 or 12 Pro Max with the uh, MagSafe. And yeah, and there it is, it's mounted. I mean, it looks like it's a. It does a pretty good, good enough job. At the end of the day, it is just a car mount, <laughs> a magnetic car mount, which they sell thousands of online everywhere. But I thought I would unbox it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the Belkin car mount with MagSafe. Now, time to head to the Apple Store and hopefully they'll give me my product. I do have an appointment for tomorrow, which I'm going today, but I really wanted to get it today since I'm going to be down there for a little bit. So they said to come in as early as they open, as soon as they open, excuse me, and try my luck. And that's what I'm going to do. So time for an hour long drive. But first, Starbucks. There you go. Coffee acquired. What do you guys think of this like first person angle? I'm using my snap glasses. Hope you guys like that. I'm gonna try to incorporate more angles like this from the snap glasses into the vlogs. Uh, Cause I think it's kind of rad. First person perspective for the win. So I was able to go to the Apple store and they were able to get me my iPad Air early. So let's open up the iPad Air and the new 11 inch magic keyboard. I traded in my old iPad Pro 12.9 inch for this version. So let's open it up. Start with the iPad Air. Exciting stuff. Ooh. So this is a new iPad Air, totally redesigned. I got it in the sky blue color. I like it because it's a very subtle blue. I don't even know if the camera's picking up the blue. It looks more of a silverish, but I don't know. Just wanted something nice, something smaller. The 12.9 inch iPad Pro was a bit too large. So let's see if we get blue Apple stickers. And we get a sim ejector tool, but I don't see Apple stickers. Fail. Uh, we do get a, a power watt adapter. It looks like a 20 watt and a USB-C to USB-C cable because the new iPad Air is USB-C. Now let's check out the Magic Keyboard. Full tab. Kia. All right, opening up the new Magic Keyboard. Now this is gonna be a bit smaller than the uh, Pro, obviously, but you know what? At this day and age, I just want portability. 
All right, so here is the magic keyboard for the iPad Pro. It is backlit, don't need to charge it, super nice. Scissor switch keyboard, look at that, that is nice. Now it is a bit smaller than a regular size keyboard, but it's still very much usable. And it's very easy, all you gotta do, boom, and we're on. So I'm gonna be setting up the iPad Air a little bit later because I'm at my parents' house right now and their Wi-Fi is down. So I won't be able to set it up just yet. So I'll probably set it up later tonight and then start enjoying it. But probably gonna grab lunch in a bit, so we'll see you guys at lunch. Bye. Almost done. Get those up and Ahorita se quita. Just a little sour. A little oh. sour? Yeah, just a little bit. No te vomitas. Chelsea también. Dale uno a tu madre de the blue raspberry one is worse. The blue raspberry one is worse. Don't read up. That was the warhead tries. So we are now on lunchtime. Boom, Panda Express. Delicious. Jocelyn, her panda. Just gonna do panda, panda for lunch. Nothing uh, too much more exciting. I will report back if anything else that's more exciting happens. All right, just wanted to check in. My parents still don't have any internet, which is sad and makes it really boring. So I'm gonna pick up a USB-C to HDMI adapter so I can connect my iPad which has LTE to the TV. That way we can at least watch something. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go to Target. I might stop at Starbucks. I haven't decided yet, maybe. But yes, on a mission. Let's get it done. So my parents still don't have the internet, as I mentioned. I picked up one of these at Best Buy. It's a cable that does USB-C to HDMI. And in case that doesn't work, I got this adapter that is lightning to HDMI here at the bottom. They did not have the USB-C to, to HDMI adapter that's Apple branded, which is why I got the cable and which is why I brought the uh, lightning back up just in case. So I'm gonna try to connect my iPad Pro to the TV and hopefully we'll have some type of entertainment. There's the cable connecting it to my iPad. iPad is saying it's being recognized. So the iPad says it's casting. Drum roll. I got it, it works. Ta-da! 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 See? Boom. And yeah, I do need that many alarms to wake up in the morning. I did it. So now we're going to watch something. Good job, me. All right. As you can see, back in my place. Got my coffee because I was getting a little tired. I have a hard time sleeping because I stayed up till 3 in the morning. But that's besides the point. Right now what I'm going to do is unbox, again, <laughs> my iPad Pro. And by unbox, I mean set it up. Just to give everybody some context on what I've been working with. This is my iPad Pro. And this on your iPad Air. Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of a difference here. This is significantly more portable. So I decided to go with the iPad Air instead of the iPad Pro 11 inch because honestly, I don't really need the Pro features now that I have the MacBook M1 Air. It's honestly, I just want a cool iPad and I don't need it to be ginormous and I don't need it to be a Pro. I don't care about 120 Hertz. Don't care about I think that's it really, right? 120 hertz, I think the iPad Pro 11 inch has a little bit better battery life than the Air, but other than that, I mean, they're pretty similar. Oh, and Face ID. This one doesn't have Face ID. Could care less. It almost doesn't work all the time, so Touch ID, old, true standby. But setting this up, then I'm gonna go for a quick workout. I'll check in after this is set up maybe and after my workout. See you guys in a bit. All right guys, so I'm gonna wrap up the vlog right now. There was a ton of footage. I'm gonna try to edit it all and put it together and upload it tonight so you guys can watch it tomorrow morning. And just as preparation for Vlogmas, which is coming up in a couple of days. A little bit of prep time. All right guys, but if you like this vlog, please go ahead and leave a like. And if you'd love to go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye.